Good evening, welcome to my bunko booth. <laughs> I'll show you a little trick. It's a really old trick done with two pieces of wood shaped like a boomerang. A uh, solid piece of wood equal in length, equal in diameter, thickness in every way, equal. One is black and the other is white. And it's the only way you can differentiate between the two. But this here is the meridian line, I'm going to call it, or the timeline. So long as these boomerangs remain together on the same side, they remain the same. On my side, that side, across the way, across that way. The problems start when you separate them. And for the purpose of the exercise, I've got a little ticket that says small and a little ticket that says larger. And I can take the white one and put it on the larger side and the black one on the smaller side and something strange happens. The white one becomes quite substantially a bit larger than the black one. So we bring them back across and they put the black one now where the white one was. And sure enough, now the black one is longer by four or five inches. You even put it in the middle, you can see definitely longer. I thought this is kind of cool. I wonder what would happen if I altered not the timeline, but the parameters and take the small one and put it where the large one is and the large one and where the small one is and see if that would work. So I take the black one and put it on the larger one and sure enough the same thing happens but in reverse. Black one becomes larger and again if we switch them over and yet if you take the timeline away and the parameters they remain both the same in every way, even separated. I thought this is quite cool. If I can do this with solid objects, could I perhaps do it with a pack of cards? So we're going to give it a try. I've got the timeline. I don't think we need the parameters on this one, so I'm going to chuck those out of the way. I'm going to take the top card, in this case the two of hearts, and if I throw it across the timeline, something very peculiar happens. It actually turns into a much higher card, in this case the ace of hearts. I thought that was pretty cool. Can I perhaps do the whole pack? So I thought I'd give it a shot. But what I found was that you can only change the cards once. So the Ace of Hearts will only remain permanently the Ace of Hearts. But what happens is the rest of the cards actually completely disappear. <laughs> a cool little thing. A very old trick with a kicker twist and a timeline. Have fun.